guys, I'm Lucky Moon back here for another video. Guys, today we have a awesome gameplay for you guys. We have all the captains and we have 97 overall Deion Sanders. So yes, I went ahead and did his set yesterday and I got Deion. So I got two games in this gameplay, guys. And let me just tell you this one thing. Whenever I try to show off a certain card, let's say Deion Sanders, or it's different types of cards, I don't really try to win the game all that much. I more or less try to play in the fact that I'm, tr I'm going to try to force the ball to certain players so for example you're gonna see me in this gameplay i throw a lot of deep passes to julio jones normally i do not throw the ball that deep to julio all the time most of the times i usually never throw up jump balls to players because the chance of it getting picked is really high now in these type of games i'm gonna play a little bit different because of the fact i'm trying to show up julio jones and how good he is so you're gonna see me do some questionable decisions which might work or might not work because i'm trying to show off the card so with that in mind, and one last thing, these games were very laggy. As Deion Sanders makes a tackle on Bo Jackson, what? I, apparently, I, I know Deion's supposed to be awful against the run, but for some reason, he actually can tackle. Um, not surprised, though, because I used Goat Deion Sanders, and he was actually a really good tackling um, you know, player, which is really surprising because he only has like 46 block shed and no tackling skill at all, as Cameron Jordan recovers his fumble right here on Marcus Mariota. So all ball backs, third and 17 here, and all day to throw it. My guy ends up dropping the ball, and it gets picked off. To be honest, I only threw that ball because I thought my guy was open, but you know, just a tad bit too late, I feel like. If I would have thrown a tad bit earlier, I probably could have possession caught that and actually, you know, got the catch there. As right here, we cause a fumble and we recover it for a touchdown. And just like that, we're 14 0. So again, this defense, all these captains are really, really amazing. Now, if I had to rank the captains on which ones I love the most, number one is Harrison Smith. You're going to see him in this gameplay. Immensely because he is literally the best playmaking player you will ever have. He is the best playmaker. He just does whatever you need him to do as Julio Jones, just Moss is Calvin Johnson. But again, number one, Harrison Smith. Number two, if I had to put them in order, I'd probably go ahead and say Julio Jones just because he is a monster. I had played with his power-up card for a very, very long time, and my biggest issue with him is he never catches the ball, you know, when he's in, like, aggressive catching type of scenarios. He usually drops the ball a lot when even when he's wide open. Uh, once he gets touched, he drops the ball. Not this Julio Jones. This playoff card, Julio, is a freaking monster. Monster. Never ever drops the ball. He is just an aggressive catching machine. Definitely worth the coins. Definitely worth the price tag for him. Number three is going to be Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley is pretty amazing. Um, he definitely, you know, he's... It's almost impossible to tackle, it, feel like, it feels like. Half the time I play with him, he just always is able to, you know, destroy anyone he plays against. Um, he's a very, very nice card. Very, very awesome card. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the, you know, man of the hour, Deion Sanders. Is Deion Sanders worth the coins? <laughs> I would say, well, worth the 4 million coins I spent on him. I spent 7 million, but I sold him for 4 million. No, 100% no. But once his price comes down to about 1.5, 1.7 million, should you go ahead and pick him up if you have the coins? Now, the issue is, and this is a big issue you're going to see in this game, is I cannot force my opponent to throw Deion Sanders the ball. As I throw a pick right here because I was trying to, you know, put it in a corner with uh, Julio, which is my I should have passed led him to the left. But again, you know, Deion Sanders, I cannot force my opponent to throw Deion Sanders the ball. And a lot of times, how Deion plays for me is he just covers the deep route. You know, if you try to throw a deep on him, he's going to be the guy covering it over top. So, it's hard to really, you know, kind of break down, you know, who's at how good he truly is because on kick and punt returns he's decent he's definitely a great player i have not i've only had like two or three kick returns um, uh, you know actual turns with kicks and punts mainly because my opponents have seen that i have Deion sanders uh with that in mind though just a key tip this game is very laggy that's why i did you know right there i was not able to tackle him on uh, fourth down because the game did lag and i wasn't able to get over there in time but nonetheless again 
it's hard to really break down how good he is when I my opponent again is not throwing him the ball my opponent is kind of in a way you know just going away from Deion Sanders which makes sense and he's testing more of a night train lane instead of a Deion Sanders which again as night train lane right here bam intercepts the ball um but again you know that's just kind of breakdown is Dion he's a great player stat wise best card in the game um you know best card in the game in general he's not worth the coins because I feel like it depends on how you what uh, situation you put him in and by that I mean is that it's hard to break down okay this card is worth the coins because you have to put him in a situation where he's always going to be tested as Julio Jones again mosses someone and it's just I don't feel like enough for a cornerback puts it put in a situation like that. Now, again, theoretically in this game, if I would have had, uh, would have uh, gone ahead and put Dion in place for Night Train Lane, would this guy have tested me as much? I have no idea. As I missed a field goal, again, the game was laggy. Um, would he have, you know, tested me as much? I have no idea. Most likely not, I would assume. But at the same time, it didn't seem like my opponent cared who I had back there. Um, you know, Dion Sanders, again, you can see him on the right-hand side of the screen. If you guys see the guy who keeps backing up, he's the guy who keeps backing up. He's on the right side of the screen. He's playing a deep blue. So, again, you know, there's not much when it comes to this gameplay that you can really show about him because he's just shutting down his side of the field. As right here, Night Train Lane gets an interception. But, again, you know, there's not much to show about him because it's kind of him and Lane covering that right side of the field. And while, you know, yes, Dion, as I throw a pick six right here, again, mistakes were made. Just yeah, I threw a pick six. But again, as you know, I was saying though, you know, it's hard to really break down how good a player is when I just can't force my opponent to test him. So is he worth the coins? I don't think he's worth the coins just looking at stat wise. His price will come down um, just like every single card in this game. His card will come down in price. We're probably going to get a, you know, a cornerback, another cornerback uh, for team of the year, maybe a 97 of all cornerback. So expect his price to come down very, very much. Um, with that in mind, you know, at this moment right here, he actually got a punt return. And as you can see, I can't really outrun anyone. Now, I didn't do correct angles there. I should have probably, you know, spun a little bit sooner. I probably should have did this, that, and the third. But, you know, I was just trying to show you horizontal running. Am I going to be able to outrun these guys to the corner? And obviously, I was not able to do that. But with that in mind, you know, um, it's just how it is, you know. Dion, I, Julio Jones, gosh. Guys, get Julio Jones. Please get Julio Jones. He's so good. I mean, like, there's, there's not much to say about him other than the fact he is the best card in this game right now. And I definitely feel like if I had to recommend any of these captains, Julio Jones is number one. And then number two is Harrison Smith. Very, very close behind him. Right here, though, he throws it deep. And who else but Harrison Smith? Again, I've been saying this all game, guys. Harrison Smith is so such a good card. He literally jumps everything. Uh, first down 10, though, we're going to run the ball with Todd Gurley here. And get back to the, kind of the gameplay. I've been trying to talk about this video about more about the players just to break them down for you guys. But again, you know, all the captains are going to be good. And that's just a fact of the matter is, you know, the captains are captains for a reason. They're all very, very good cards. But, you know, for price wise, I'd probably recommend just going ahead. And if you have the coins, pick up Harrison Smith. If you don't have the coins, um, then obviously, you know, you know, try to get up the coins to pick up Harrison Smith, pick up Julio if you need a wide receiver, and of course, Dion. I hate to say he's not worth it because he is the best card in the game, and I, I can't really say anything about that. And when it comes to cornerbacks, if anything, if you think about it, how good is he that he has locked down his side of the field? He has locked down his area to a certain degree that my opponent is not throwing him the ball. And Night Train Lane can, you know, play the area better as Harrison Smith gets another interception. I swear he is the best card in this game. Um, but as you know, Harrison Smith can play better. Night Train Lane can play better because of the fact that, you know, uh, what's his name? Dion is locking up that side of the field. So... How good is he? He locks up the side of the field and you don't throw him the ball. That's pretty much like, you know, the Richard Shermans of the world, the, um, what's it called? Any great cornerback, if he's going to lock up one side of the ball and uh, one side of the field, and if you can't throw it there, you're going to have to throw it somewhere else, which lets your playmakers be able to, you know, 
do better job at covering one side of the field. As I did just want a first down with Tom Brady. I wonder how that makes my opponent feel. Nonetheless, though, we have another captain on this team that we have not talked about this whole entire game. His name is Michael Hyde, and Michael Hyde's going to go ahead and get a pick here. So just like that, guys, my opponent will quit. And those are the two game plays with the Deion Sanders and all the captains. Now, guys, real fast, I just want to tell you, I did sell Deion Sanders for 4.1 million coins, which means I spent a total of 3.3 .3 million coins total, not including the tax differential um, on this whole entire you know set, which means I paid 250,000 coins for 1595 plus of all elite cards, which theoretically speaking, that is actually a really, really good price because usually not 95s go for like 500,000 coins. I paid 250. I paid uh, 250 per 95 of all when I already needed, you know, half the cards for power up sets. So I won in the end. I feel like with this whole entire thing. But thank you guys for watching. Peace out.